Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on this flat odd count peyote bracelet and I'm going to use the quick start peyote cards. Now I know I'm a little late to the party and they've been around a while, but they're new to me. So um, somebody had suggested I try them. I did and I adore them. I think they make it so easy. They take all that frustration out of the first couple of rows um, with peyote and doing odd count with them is simple. So I'm going to show you everything. Now you don't have to have the cards to do to do this bracelet because I am going to show you with the cards and without. So just the only difference of the first couple of rows. So everything is the same after that. So don't worry about it if you don't have them. You know, just do your regular peyote and you'll see everything on the screen. Um, so the funny thing is when I was making this bracelet, my husband came in and he, he liked it. And he said, well, will you make me one? And I said, okay. Uh, he said it, it would make a great man bracelet. And you know, he's right. I really didn't think about it. So what about Father's Day? Plenty of time to make it. It's not hard. Pick the colors he loves and you got a beautiful bracelet for your hubby. All right, so I'm going to clear this off, get a materials list going, and we'll get started. So oh, as, as usual, if you enjoy my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to see more videos, ring the bell so you get notified when I upload. See you in a minute. Okay, let's get a materials list going. So you need these quick start peyote cards and they're awesome. I'll link them down below. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them at, on bead websites. Um, they're very reasonable and reusable. I've used them many times. So I have four different colors of Delicas, 11 Delicas, any kind of class by, I, I don't know which one I'm going to use yet. Um, I've got a little stop bead, size 10 beading needle, eight pound fire line, invaluable, the no more oops bead tray right here for this so that you can keep your beads um, separated, which is great. Um, the Ringberries mat, 10% off this mat. Um, I'll link the websites down below where you can purchase them if you want them. If you, you know, if you don't have the tray, you can just put a little piece of tape on, you know, A, B, C, and do like masking tape or something or painter's tape and then just put your beads onto that. You could do that as well. All right, I think that's it. So did I say eight pound fire line, black satin, size 10 beading needle? Well, if I did, I said it again. So I'm gonna clear this off and we'll get started. Okay, let's get started. So if you are not using the quick start cards and you're just doing your regular, you know, you put rows one and two on and then row three shifts everything into place, everything will be at the top of the, um, you know, the words will be, it's somewhere along the video at the top and I'll try to keep my hands out of the way as best I can. Put your beads like above you, A, B, C, D. I have mine over to the side. You will not see my beads while I'm working because I need the space to put the words up there. If you're using the card, this is what it looks like. It's this little card just like this. You fold it over. Um, we'll get to doing that, you know, in a minute. But I just wanted to give you an overview of what it looks like. You get three of them to the pack I bought anyway, and they're size 11-0 beads. Here's the, here's the front of the, the um, little booklet. It's all laminated, so you can refer to it over and over again. It looks daunting. <laughs> when I looked at this, I thought, ah, how am I going to do that? It is so easy, and that's why maybe if, uh, having a video will be helpful to some of you rather than reading all the instructions. Um, here is, you know, here's the back. So I've already done all that. I know it by heart by, by now. So get everything ready, pull out everything, and then come on back and we'll start beating. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is set up the card. Uh, and if you're not using the card, the beading will start in the next clip where the, you know, the word chart will be at the top. So here's my card. I have a bunch of holes in the middle. They have a flat top and a point on the bottom. You want to make sure that point is always facing down. The words are facing up here. I have two little holes on the sides. You're just going to take your card and you're just going to fold it in half. And you don't want to press it tightly. You want a nice gentle fold. So you want to make sure all your edges are meeting. That's how you're going to start it. So you're going to hold your card like this. I'm going to hold it slightly open just so it's easy for you to see what I'm doing. I've threaded my needle with about five feet of thread. I put on a stop bead and I went through my stop bead twice because you don't want that stop bead to come off while you're starting. Um, and I've left enough of a tail to sew in. So here I have my needle. I'm just going to come through the back and through that bottom hole there. So that's where my needle is coming through. I'm going to pull it through until my stop bead is up at the back of the card. So see, that's what it looks like. And then 
I'm going to take my needle, I'm going to sew through this little hole and out the big one. So just going under that fold right there. See that? And then I'm going to fold it. You want to hold your, your folded card, you know, like this while you're beating. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to let you get to that point and then come on back and we'll start beating. Okay, let's get started. So we are going to start with the card. We're going to be using the card for this video. However, if you're not using the card, you know, the word chart is above and you're just going to follow the word chart. So my card is all set up. And I, I mean, I know I keep saying this, but I just love this. And I'm exiting that first hole right there. And I kind of like to hold it this way. You can hold it with however it's comfortable for you. I kind of like holding it this way. It's just easier for me. I'm going to, you know, I, I, I want to leave enough space up top for the words, so I may be uh, shifting it a little bit. So with the card, we start with the first row of up beads. And the way I know my first row of up beads is for any pattern is when you print out a pattern, here are my, you see all my up beads. That's my first row of up beads right here. And then you can, if you re, can read a peyote chart, you can just, you know, know what your first two rows are. Luckily on this one, they're all the same color, the first two, so <laughs> it's not a big deal. Um, however, I'm just, you know, the word chart will be above and I will be you know, telling you them as well. So just to give you a little look on at that. So the first row of beads are going to be all white and we're going to put on 13 beads. So I'm going to, this is how you're going to start. I'm going to pick up a bead. I'm exiting right here. I'm just going to sew right under and through. So coming in and out the other side of that fold. So you see the fold right there? Just going that's the whole stitch right there. And that's going to put that bead on. See how that bead sits in that little hole? And I'm sorry they're white. I just, <laughs> I wasn't thinking when I made the pattern, I was thinking I was going to do it regular. And then I got the cards and I got excited. So bead number two, I think you can see this. Exiting here, I'm just going to sew right through the fold. See in one side of the fold and out the other. I'm going to do that all the way down for all 13 beads in the fold, out the, uh, the other side. See, just like that. So like under that fold. Do one more together. Make sure you hold your card folded because that's what's keeping, you know, that and the stop bead is what's keeping the beads on at the moment. So exiting here, just inserting right through one end of the fold, coming out the other. I'm going to do that all the way down until you have all 13 of your beads on. And then meet me back here and we'll continue. Okay, we're back. So we have our first 13 beads on. And remember to hold your card closed at this point. So now I want to put on my second row. So my second row is going to have 12 beads. So in order for me to get, because I have 13 on at the moment, right? So odd number. Um, in order for me to get my beads on. I'm exiting right here. I'm just going to take my needle and thread. I'm just going to sew down through this bead, that very last bead. And I'm not going to pull that super tight. I'm just going to leave it. So you see you have this little thread right here? That's perfect. Now I'm going to put on my 12 beads. This is so clever. So just sewing through the up bead, which is this bead right here. I'm going to put 12 of them on. So here I have four so far. I'll just let you go off and do the rest on your own. So get all 12 on and then come on back and we'll continue. Okay, we've got our first two rows on. So now we're going to go to row three. So the word chart is the same for everybody now. So let's go to row three, put on three A beads. So all I'm going to do is just pick up my first A bead and sew through the first sticking out bead. That's two. That's 
It's three A beads, one B. Five A's. and three A's. So we're going to do our turn now in a second. So that's one. So here's my second A. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sew through this one and then the one at the top. So the one on the diagonal right there. Now my last A is going to go through these two. So I'm exiting here. I'm just going to sew through the one underneath it and, on, and the other one on the diagonal. That's going to put my top bead on. So that's my last A. Now I want my thread coming out of here. It's exiting here. So I'm just going to sew through the beads on the diagonal until I get to where I want my thread coming out. So through that one, through this guy, through this one, and then down through this one. So that's like your regular sort of weaving through the beads in order to have your thread coming out where you want it to come out. So let's go to row four. So I'm gonna do two A's. So that's one, two, two C's, one, two, four A's, and it's so easy using this card, it's something to hold on to. A's, two B's, and two A's, let's go to row five, two A's, so this is just the normal turn at the bottom. When you straighten out, there you go. It's two A's, three B's, Three C's. This goes so fast. I'm going to put on two A's, so we're going to do that turn again, right? So here we're going to put on one A, 
which is going to go through this one, but then again, the one on the diagonal sort of to the left there. Let's put it on our bead, and then we're gonna pick up our last A, exiting here. Go so through these two on the diagonal. Like that. That's our last A on. Now I want this thread coming out of here. So I'm just going to sew through the one next to the one I'm exiting. The one above it and the one on the diagonal, sort of the left. And then down this one. So now my thread is where I want it to be. We'll do one last row for this clip. So we'll put on an A. four C's, two A's, four B's, six rows so just get to that point come on back and we'll continue okay let's go to row seven so I'm gonna pick up an A put on an A two B's an A Two B's, an A, two C's. One A, two C's, so remember, so the second C is going to go here, but we're going to go right through to the top bead, and then put on our last bead is our A, so the A is going to Exiting here, we're going to sew through these two. Now I'm just going to move my thread again, so I'm coming out of the top bead. Let's go to row eight, two C's. Two A's, two C's, two B's. Two A's, and 
and two Bs. Two Bs. One A. One D. So we're popping that color in now. One A. One B. Two C's. One A. One D. One A and two C's. So remember putting the one C on. So we're going to end up going through this bead and then the one on the top. And then my last C is going to go here. So we're just going to sew through these two right here on the diagonal. Now I'm going to just move my thread so it's exiting the top bead. And let's just go down row 10, 1C, 1A, 2Ds. One A, two C's, one A, two D's. One A and one B. Okay, so get that done and then come on back and we'll keep going. Okay, let's go to row 11. And you're probably wondering when are we gonna take it off the card? Soon. You can actually take it off the card after the first four rows, but I like to leave it on a little bit longer, but I will show you how to take it off. Um, we'll do it in the next clip. So let's go to row 11. So that's two Bs. A, one D, one A, two C's. B, one A, one D, one A, And then we have two C's. So the first C member is going to go up through this one and then the one above it on the diagonal. It's the first C. And then we're going to pick up 
the second C and that's going to go right here. So we want to put it here. So the way we're going to do it is sew down through these two on the diagonal. Oops. Let's get in there. There we go. So the one under the bead you're exiting and the one on the diagonal under that. Then I just want to move my thread. It's hard to see with the black beads, but I mean, we've done it a few times already. So I'm just going to move my thread so it's exiting this top bead. So that was row 11, row 12, two C's. A's, two B's, two C's, Two A's. Lost my place there for a second. And two B's. Let's go up row 13. One A. Two B's. Two C's, one A, two B's. One A, two C's, remember the second C, it's going to go through the next one and then the one on the diagonal a bit, and then my last speed is an A, so this one's going to come down this way through these two and then I'm just going to move my thread so it's exiting that white bead come on you there we go let's go down with row 14, 1A, 2Cs, 2Bs, Two A's, two C's, two B's. All 
right, so get that done and come on back and we'll keep moving on. Okay, let's continue. So we'll go to row 15, two A's. Two B's. One C. One A. And a D. An A, two Bs, a C, the last two beads are going to be A beads, so we have the first, remember, putting it through this one and the one above it. And then my last bead, which is an A. Oops, let me grab it. Exiting here, we're just gonna sew through the one underneath it and the one on the diagonal. It's on my last bead of that of row 15. Now I just want to move my thread so I'm exiting that top white bead. Let's go to row 16, two A's. Two B's. An A, two D's, an A, two B's. And two A's. Let's go to row 17. Two A's. One C. B's, one A, one D, one A, C, two B's, and two A's. So again, we're doing our turn. So the first A goes on like that, and the second A goes down these two. My last A of row 16. Now I'm just going to move my thread so it's exiting that top bead. Let's go to row 18, 1A, 2B. 
babies. Two C's. Two A's. Two B's. Two C's. And one A. Let's go to nineteen. One A. Two C's. One A. Two B's, one A, two C's, One A, two B's, remember the second, my second B is going to go through there, and my last bead, which is an A, is going to come down through these two. Now I'm just going to move my thread until I get to the top, like that. And then row 20, I know this is a big one, two Bs, Bs, two As. Two C's. Two B's. Two A's. And two C's. Okay, so here we are through row 20. So just get this part done and then come back and we're going to take it off the card. Okay, we're going to take it off the card in a minute, but a couple things first. So in the last clip, at the end of row 17, I said we were putting the last bead on of row 16. Now, just ignore that, the pattern on the screen, what I'm doing with my hands, the next row, it's all correct. So just like ignore me at the end of, the, of that row. All right, so we have done rows one through 20. The pattern repeat for this bracelet is 44 rows. So we have to continue on with rows 21 through, through 44. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate those rows on camera. I'm going to put the word chart on the screen, and I will show you examples of where we are on the bracelet in each clip. So you'll follow along in that way. When you're done with rows 1 through 44, you're going to go back to row 3 and repeat rows 3 through 44. 
three through 44 until you have the length of your bracelet. It'll all be written on the screen. So just a note here, here is my bracelet. I'm gonna do four repeats, which will give me almost six inches. Now, I'm not, if it's not long enough, I'm not gonna add a partial repeat. I'm going to just continue with the background. So I'll add a thread here and I'll continue and continue on with this thread to make it sort of even, just putting the background color on because I think it would look kind of weird having just a partial repeat going on there. Okay, so I think that's everything. So um, come back and we're gonna take it off the card. We're really taking it off the card now. So here's my card. I'm just gonna open it up and I'm gonna pull off the stop bead. And then remember in the beginning when we had that thread, let me pull it looped over that that fold right there that was like after the first putting the first row on what you're going to do is you're going to pull that but if it's a little tight right now hold on and anyway just hold on to your to the beads a little bit just so that you don't pull them out of shape you're just going to pull see i'm just pulling that up with my needle with my pin pulled it right out and look at that ah, it comes right off how cool is that Absolutely love that. <laughs> All right, so there you go. So come on back and we'll continue. Okay, we're almost done. So I put one end of my clasp on. I'm using this very simple silver um, slide clasp. It's 35 millimeters. I'm just going to make sure that I, you know, you open it up a little bit, open up one end, slide it on. Make sure you're sliding it on evenly. So that looks good to me. I just want to make sure it's in the same place as the other one at the other side. So I'm not going to close it. You know, you'll just take your pliers or you can just put it on like a hard surface and bend it over. I just want to make sure it's perfect. So I'm going to finish it, you know, I'll finish it later. Um, so there it is. There's your bracelet using the Quick Start Peyote cards or without them. It, you know, it doesn't really matter which one you use, but I just think these are so cool. And I, I really suggest you play with them and, and use them because it's just been a game changer, game changer for me, even if I was late to the party. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.